Stadium in Athens, Georgia, and opponents here have found it difficult for players to see as the west end zone is still open and the sun shines in the faces of the players, although both teams face the sun during the game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. We got a second and two. Ball on their own 33. And they make the stop at the 47. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Nice run there. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Here's a draw. Good outside run there. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Taken down around the 50-yard line. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big-time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's taken down at about the seven-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Second and 14. Ball on the seven-yard line. Ready. Green 90. Hot green. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes, around the 16-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. From their own 16-yard line, third down. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Smith was the intended target. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Yeah. 
He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Georgia's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Feeds it to the back. And they hit him in the backfield. From the 49-yard line, second down. Let's go! Red 18! Red 18! Tackle made at midfield. rid of it quickly and he's got the junior he's knocked out of bounds at the 19 a heck of a play by the receiver we talk all the time about the emotions of college football this play was definitely an emotionally charged play what a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game now it's first and ten after the big pass play He's met in the backfield. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled right around the 16 yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Nearly intercepted. Alabama is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. And it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. three-yard line. That makes it second it's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Ready. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll get a first down there on the play with a run from the tailback. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Slings it. Out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. That's a, game of six a tight, low scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Alabama leads it 3 0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Strike to his receiver, no good. That'll make it fourth and six.
gets to about the 37-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama has a three-point lead. It's a great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Second down and 12. Ball on the 35-yard line. Looks to the back and can't connect. And he let his receiver a little too much. One of the things you look for when you have a young quarterback is how he releases the football. Here you can see he releases the ball a little bit early, a sign that he wasn't completely comfortable with what he was seeing. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Knocked out of bounds around the 39-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. Smith brings him down at the 19-yard line. First down. From the 19-yard line. First down. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Here comes the pressure. Catches it, and he's punished. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a strike complete. Tackle at about the three-yard line. First down. And they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws complete touchdown. He makes the PAT. 10 play, 62 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. 
The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. They come out in a five-wide set. Here we go. Quick pass. About five yards that time on the throw. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. And they keep moving the defense back. He's at the 30. And they bring him down at the 13. Oh, and what a run that was. And here on the pitch out to the tailback, they were able to capitalize with the defense on their heels. He's tackled at the three. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. Young's play so far, Kirk, is really what we expected. I mean, I don't think we're shocked at all at how well he's playing right now. Isn't it fun when a plan comes together for an <laughs> offense? Exactly. I mean, speaking as a quarterback, I mean, it, it, this guy has really gone out there and executed this plan. Now, there's still a whole other half to go, but up to this point, he's made good decisions, he's taking care of the football, and he's leading this team. And that's really all you can ask of him. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Alabama is up a field goal. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. There's a strike complete, and he's down. I'd say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. The Bulldogs, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Jackson is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle made at the 36. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think part of the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Fires complete over the middle. And they make the stop at the 43. He goes out of bounds at the 45. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Receivers got the first down, and he's taken down at the 49. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Here they come. 
Gets it to his tight end for a first down. And he's hit immediately. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Great play here by the linebacker to be able to read the pass, get back into the passing lane, and get up and knock that football away from the receiver. Here we go, check. Back down. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. He's taken down at the 46 yard line. Check, check. 200 check. 200 check. Throws into coverage, just picked off. He won't go down. Here he goes. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Alabama is up by three. Kicks up, and it's good! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. So our score, Alabama 13, Georgia 7. So we've played two quarters. The Crimson Tide in front, 13-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced, David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. Call the loss of three yards on the way. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's to the 40. 
And he's tackled at the 44. First and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. down again. Roger, Roger. Send the mic. Send the mic. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. <laughs> nice run, and he's brought down. At the 23. From the 23 yard line, it's first down. The Bulldogs saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. And they push him out at about the 17 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. out to around the nine. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Brought down at the 13. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. That brings him second to goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Third and goal for the lead. They come out on an empty backfield. Let's go! Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 10. Only three yards there on the throw. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. The kick is up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Alabama has a three-point lead. Nice run to the outside. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's level at the 38 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. And he is drilled at 
the 29-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's going to be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle around the 41 yard line. Smith brings him down the 41 yard line. That makes it 37. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 46. This is the at the 46 yard line. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. for a sack on the play. So at the end of three, the Crimson Tide in front, 13-10. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. And a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. Thorson is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. I think we're getting to the point is who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of seven on the ball. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Alabama holds a field goal lead. They bring him down in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. It. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of four on play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 24. Ah! 
slings it. Strike to his receiver, no good. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. That'll make it fourth and six. Thorson is the punter. He's tackled at the 49 yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Alabama is up a field goal. He's tackled at the 47. Second and 13. Ball on their own 47. Seven-yard line. to that quickly and they make the stop at the 45 yard line that was a well designed and executed pattern but on third down and forever it just wasn't enough doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here he just wants to change field position this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback Oh, here we go, Herbie. You gotta love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's gonna make a play to win this thing. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He flings it. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Just under two to go in the game. Tries to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. He makes his way to about the 45. Gibbs gains around eight yards on the run. Georgia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Runs it left for a decent game. Gibbs gains around six yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of five on the play. First down.
We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding here down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 13-10, Alabama. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.